What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We'll be doing a quick video on Keg of Fires. Just wanted to show off my account. Right now, I'm rank 201 on my account. Uh, I, don't, I forgot how many of the ranks go up to. But that's kind of, I think it's probably low on the low side. It's probably mostly because I don't do any guild stuff. I'm not any guilds. I just play the game solo and have fun with it. I do like the game. It's a pretty good mobile fighter. And I just wanted to start by showing off my characters. We're going to go by each one of our different ones. Let's start with purple. Different colors. So purple. My favorite characters in here are probably going to be... Um, I don't know. I like a lot of different a lot of different characters, but if I had to say, I'd probably be Nameless, who I just finished doing. But I had just been sitting on him for a while. I really been finished with him, but since it's been said over and over that you need him in a lot of the, the higher level content, um, I just been working on him. Like I haven't done a lot of the a lot of the content. I, um, you know, I finished the story, and then I just been doing a lot of the collab stuff and working on tower trials and a lot of the other different stuff that I got a chance to do. So, like, I play this game not really as a main game, but sort of as a main game. But most of the time, it's like one of the first games I show up. I mean, I pull, up, I pick up on my mobile device other than Yu-Gi-Oh. But That'd be for another video if you want to see Yu-Gi-Oh content. But, like I said, Nameless, one of my favorites. I like Kim. I finally did pick up Lady Kim. Um, that's probably it. I probably neglected Purple a little bit. So that's why I probably don't have any characters that I really have awakened other than two characters. So let's move on to Blue. On my Blue characters, Rock Howard has to be one of my favorite characters. Um, I do like the BS version of Omega Rugal. Um, I like this version of Marie Rose. So as you see, I got her on 90. I didn't awaken her yet because I don't think I had the what I uh, the material to actually do it. Merlin was one of my favorite out of the Seven Deadly Sins collab. I didn't really like Dylan's like that, but I heard that he's good, so I might eventually finish him. And we did get SS Cooler. So, yeah, those are some of the characters I like. I did like the Good Time and Collab characters. I just didn't get to work on them like that. And speaking of collab characters, I think the only collabs I did finish would probably be. Let's see, I can look right here. I didn't get any characters from. Okay, I did get some. I didn't do super, um, Samurai Showdown. I didn't do Tekken because Tekken was before I played. Um, WWE, I think, was right, happened right before I started playing. So I missed those characters. And every other character I think I got, except like some of them I didn't get because I got shafted really badly on it. But that's pretty much it. Like the last signature fighters, I didn't get uh, Leon and Leona and Gomez. I just they just I just couldn't get them. They just not would not come out the banner for me. So moving on to the red team the units, the red units. Um, Omega Rugal. I got this character technically for free after I came back off of not playing for a while and boosted him all the way up to Awaken Two. And I used them for a lot of the story content because, like, I started the story when I first started playing, but I didn't finish it. And I think he carried through a lot of the story content. And then Hanukkah, she's very fun to play with. She's still a new character, but I like her enough. Miss Karate's fun. Very fast character. Very fluid character. I actually like Chrislet a little bit, but. He's not really that good to me, but I do like the character's kit. Rachel from Seven Nights, I think she was the main one I did end up leveling because I think I only got her, Dellens, and I think I only got her and Dellens from Seven Nights collab. I didn't get Elaine. I wanted Elaine. I pulled for her a lot. Did never get her. 
And pretty much this it. I do like Lady Zero. Um, finally finished this character off. And this character is kind of fun to play with because the kit is full of different characters, but I wouldn't say it's my favorite, but I, if I need it to use it for content, I use it for content. Um, there's some yellow units that I like too here. Like this Gitama character is really fun to play with whenever I use them. I use them just a lot. Use them just to mix up the content sometimes. And it's mostly like because sometimes you, if you play with the same characters over and over, you get a little frustrated or not frustrated. Maybe like, you know, you get tired of seeing the same moves unless you just really love that character. All right, so on um, the green characters, Gonitz, I finished him, waking him once. Um, waiting to awaken him again. I have to get another copy of him in order to awaken him again, but he's like one of the early units that was supposed to be good and seven dead of sins tavern master and all this they i think they basically gave us the materials we needed to get him done so i ended up doing him to awaken one him and elizabeth both and this is probably my favorite character in in green orochi because he's just this kid just feels good lee's kid feel good too lynn excuse me i always call him lee <laughs> and that's probably it like I probably haven't experimented oh this one I kind of like her but I'm pro it's probably like honeymoon period on that one because she's still fairly new and I want to work on him but they say he's not important but I'm probably still going to do it anyway because I think he's like a main character in the whole franchise of King of Fighters and also he came out with that pack. Don't know if I'm buying that pack but I think I can probably finish him without it but we'll see. Um, And that's it. Of course I got a couple other characters awakened but I don't think I have them cored out yet. This is why they probably not sit toward the top. And so our last color group was the yellow group. Shion picked him up. This character, he was. It's like the flashiness of him. But he's more of a defense. Even though he's sort of a little flashy looking with the yellow and the uh, blue braids, he's mostly. That's just how flashy he looks. He's, he's a defensive character, though. Did get SS Kyo, got him in 90. He's not awakened. Um, this character, I pulled this character off one pull. I like this character a lot, so I worked on and got her close to 90, but not really. Oh, oh she is a 90. I just didn't put the last capsules on it yet. And this version of Honka is okay, but I really don't play with it because I played with the other one. And like I said, I had this version of Meliodas, but I just never worked on them. Really, I think I neglect my yellow characters a little bit, if I'm honest. But I do have a good bit of them. It's just that I only use them when I need the content. And like, I got Shion up, and Shion she, and is probably like the. And Kyo are probably the two characters I've been using when I needed to use them for the yellow content. So. This, this was the first. Like, Chizuru was the first character I got, a yellow character, but like as you can see, I got her probably up to level 60, 60, and then I left her alone. I mean, I let her get me through the content that she could, and then I left her alone. It's probably because I started getting uh, purple banner, purple border characters, and you know, so they were a lot stronger than she was. I probably if I awaken her, she'd probably be stronger too, but. I don't know. So, I will say that I have my Tower of Trials done. I have a lot of the power-up the, um, power dungeon stuff done. Some of the stuff isn't done on here, but like it's not finished all the way down to the bottom. Like this one, it's not all the way down to the bottom yet. 
My characters can't get that strong yet. You really need to be awakened to get sure stuff that far down. I have better card, uh, better battle cards. If y'all want to see my battle cards, let me know, and I'll do that in a different video. But that's pretty much my account. Um, anybody have guilds you like to be like me to get in and help out in? I wouldn't mind doing it every now and then. Like I probably do it a few times a week, or at least you no, know, just do it daily if that's how. But I don't know how guilds work on this game. You know, it, maybe it's like raid and you have to do daily stuff. Not sure. But if it's like a weekly thing, then I'm, I'm down when I can do it. I mean, that's pretty much how I do the the bosses that we have to go against. But I digress. Guys, you want to see more of this King of Fighters content? Leave a comment. Tell me what you like to see. And like this video. I'll see you guys next time.